<laughs> Eli. Welcome I'll back, you guys. It is Tuesday afternoon, January 17th, and it's writing time. If you did not come to math today, make sure you check your email. Make sure you go back and look at that lesson. Remember, you can look at it on our resources. I went really slowly through one of the lessons that I noticed there was a lot of confusion about. So please double check your math. Also, language arts, we're kind of coming to the end here. And so you need to be on top of it because this essay is due on Friday. So we have been working on this essay for a month. And remember that if you feel like you're behind, you can always go back. And I'm going to share my screen and show you where you can find everything that you're supposed to have already done on, um, on this assignment. So if you've missed some of the assignment or you've missed a lesson or you don't know what to do on your essay, please go back to um, the assignment. So go to language arts and go to the start of it. Language arts, oh, come on, open up and go to the modules. And at the very front, there's informational writing Remember, I told you that it was going to be due on January 20th. Well, that's this Friday. And we have been working really slowly and carefully on this prompt about tracing the tractor's legacy and the code catalyst. We started with marking up the text. Here's the assignment. Here's how to read and take notes. Here's how to plan and structure your essay. Here's our introduction we wrote together. Your body paragraphs. If you need that Google Doc, it's right here is a link to a Google Doc. It will have you make a copy. And... We wrote our first body paragraph today. Now we're doing our second, actually our third body paragraph today was we're doing this lesson with the sub tomorrow. You're going to do the conclusion on Thursday. You're going to revise and edit. And on Friday, you're going to publish it. Here are the pages in the lesson that told us what to do. So writing the conclusion is lesson 405. Um, you're going to do that one tomorrow. Right now I'm going to go to my essay. Um, where is it? This is Law's example. So here it is. Tractors and cars change the world. Yours is going to sound a lot like mine because we're basing this on the same stories that we read. So they're going to be pretty similar. Did you know that 100 years ago to grow food, a farmer had to walk behind a cow and pull a plow by hand? There's my hook. Life today is so much easier due to improvements in transportation. That is my thesis or my controlling ideas. And then all of you copied and can use this sentence. It's a bridge sentence, but it's also important because it tells the person reading, reading your essay what your essay is based on. So you can copy and paste this. It's in the assignment, so don't worry. It's in the Mod 4 assignment. The two articles, Tracing the Tractor's Legacy and The Car Catalyst, teach us many ways tractors and cars have changed over time and how those changes have changed the world. Then I wrote my first body paragraph all about the ways that tractors have changed. And I have a quote in it right here from the article. Then I wrote my second paragraph about all of the ways that cars have changed. And I have a quote in it. Excellent. Finally, all the changes with cars and tractors have completely changed the way we live our lives and the world. This is my third body paragraph. Most of you have already written the sentence or something like it about how cars and tractors have changed the world. Now I need three pieces of evidence. So I have to go back to the stories. So I've already opened the stories. <laughs> and here's my first one on the car. How have cars changed the world? Look at that, guys. It's right there at the start of the essay. The development of the automobile has had far-reaching consequences. Now you see, I've already highlighted my text, so I can just go back to the highlighted bits. It's had a huge effect on our ability to be transported from one place to another. Okay, that's the first way. It's revolution the way revolutionized the way we build things in the factory line. It's made us travel easily at a cheaper cost so that we can do leisure travel. Hmm. Um, you don't have to live close to your work. So we developed the suburbs living outside of town. Uh, and that's that's kind of it. So I'm going to go back to my story now and I'm going to um, paraphrase what I just read. So here I am and I'm going to say uh, one big way cars have changed the world is that they have made it cheaper and easier for people 
to travel for fun. That's leisure travel, right? Um, they have also helped us get to our jobs so people can live outside of the city center in the suburbs um, and drive in to work. Okay, I've just paraphrased and I've got two pieces of information about cars. Now I'm gonna to go to my tractor article and I'm just really modeling for you the way I want you to be doing your essay. Um, so let me go to my tractor one. Here's my tractor one. Don't wanna recognize tracks. Tracing the tractor's legacy. So we already have the introduction, the development of tractors meant more land could be farmed with less human and animal power, that's important. Workers might leave agriculture and move into manufacturing and service and now into high tech. So it's really changed how we work. The major reason that the US saw a workforce shift from farms to factories. Oh, I really like that, that quote right there. I think I'm gonna do this quote exactly. Now the problem is I can't cut and paste it. So I'm gonna have to remember it. Tractors are often credited. So I'm gonna put this exactly in here. Tra tractors are often credited. In the tractor article, it says, and now I'm going to use the exact word, so I want to quote, tractors are often credited, let's see what that said again, tractors are often credited, where'd it go, ah, as one of the major reasons, sorry, I can't remember that much, so I have to go back and forth a lot as one of the major reasons um, the U.S. saw a workforce shift. The U.S. saw a, oops, a workforce shift. So the quote you put in has to be exactly the same words, from farms to factories. Huh, that's one of the things that made the US great was shifting to that from farms to factories. Now I'm going to go back and introduce that. So I'm going to say um, tractors also really changed the world and the way we live. Before tractors, most people worked on farms. In the tractor article, it says tractors are often credited as one of the major reasons. So let's see. But with tractors, people moved into other kinds of work. Most of us don't have to grow our own food anymore, right? In the tractor article, it says tractors are often credited as one of the major reasons the US saw workforce shift from farms to factories. So all in all, cars and tractors made life easier, <laughs> changed what we do for work and where we live. Okay, so I think I have three pieces of evidence in there. I've got a quote in there and I think I'm in good shape. So that is my third body paragraph. That is what you are writing today is your third body paragraph. Now I can go back and I can erase all the red part that's in my document so that it's ready to go. And the last thing I have to do is add my conclusion. You can see it looks like an essay now and it's got one, two, three, four. <laughs> Four, and then my last conclusion will be the fifth paragraph because it's a five paragraph essay. So this is where we're writing our third body paragraph. Um, if anybody wants to see my essay, I don't know that I actually put a link in there, but I'll give one to you guys in the chat right now if you want to look at my essay. Um, you can stay with me if you have questions. Otherwise, you need to go off and work on your essay yourself. Um, Luis, I'll come explain this to you a little bit in a minute, but I'd like you to start a Google Doc. I think I have Google Docs for most of you guys, 
Um, I've got Sophia, I've got Kaino, Luis, I don't have one from you. Bria, I've got yours. Amoy, I don't have one from you. So you need to go back and get a Google Doc started. Um, Christian, I don't know if I have one from you, Christian. Did you share your Google Doc with me? Make sure you've shared it. Shared it. Not yet. Okay, so you need to share your Google Doc with me today. I'm setting up breakout rooms. You guys can um, go there and work for about 20 minutes on your writing, and then I'll come on the loudspeaker and tell you you've done enough. Try to get that third body paragraph written today. Okay, so if you're ready, you can go to your breakout room. If you have a question, you can stay with me. <laughs> 